finally means um, coming to an end. Vocabulary refers to knowing the meaning of words and is critical to successful reading comprehension. Building vocabulary involves teaching your learner how to figure out the meaning of words while reading. It also requires selecting and studying the meanings of individual words and parts of words. It's important to relate these vocabulary words to learners' current and prior experiences to help cement them in their word bank. Here is the word karmic. For direct instruction of general vocabulary, you might decide to teach several new words each week. When deciding which words to select from texts to pre-teach to your learner, keep in mind the following types of words that are particularly useful and can include words in the news, difficult or unfamiliar words, signal words, words not well defined by context, words that reinforce word learning strategies, prefixes and suffixes, compound words, high frequency words, before we met, I, I also selected some words that I thought might be challenging mm -hmm. or that might really help you out in your line of work in dealing with all sorts of people from all sorts of cultures, um, words that will really help boost your reading comprehension. So I'll show you what I have and then we get to add the words on here that you selected yourself, okay? okay. Let's take a look at these words. Hey, what is this word? Nourishment. Hey, we selected the same word there. Beautiful. And? Narcissist. Very close. What is this ending? Sism. Sism and? Narcissism. Beautiful. So we both selected that word. What else did I select that you also selected? Hey, here is the word? Karmic. Karmic. All right. Let me think. You know, I did not select jungle, um, but I also selected Burmese. Beautiful, Burmese. We're going to find out what that means. You know, I did not select superstitious. Janine, you actually knew the meaning of superstitious. Um, and it's a nice, difficult word. And I'm happy that you highlighted it because that's something that maybe we want to get faster and faster. Mm -hmm. But maybe what we'll do, um, I'm going to just write it on the side here because we can learn that as a sight word that you just get by sight and know immediately, like bam, 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 okay? okay. All right, I have a couple other words here and I'd, I'd like to um, ask you about the word meaning of them, okay? So what about the word prosperity? Does, does that ring a bell? What, what comes to mind when you think prosperity? Goodwill, wishing somebody well, and you hear it a lot of times around the holidays. Okay, lovely. You know, you do hear it around the holidays as well wishes, and then it has a more specific meaning, um, oh, about wealth and money. So let's focus on this as a vocabulary word too. Okay. okay? Um, and I selected two words, and you're going to be so pleased. You know, since we've worked on con about a million times, I thought, oh, let's make it a million and two. So <laughs> we can figure out what these words mean as well. Here's a word. Uh, do you know what this word is? Concretely. It is concretely. Uh, what does that word mean? Like, when I hear the word concrete, mm -hmm. I think of outside, and I, when I hear concretely, it means that it's sol or stable in a mm -hmm. spot and isn't going to move anywhere. It's in there pretty firmly. You know, that is perfect. So you know the meaning of concretely. I think all that con work has paid off, okay? Um, how about this word? What, is that, what does that say? Concept. Concepts. Can you use the word concepts in a sentence? The boys learned a new exercise in baseball. So they, they usually go and they, they do um, like learn drills. Mm -hmm. And so that's the concept and the fundamentals of baseball. So if I were to say, you know, I've been thinking of some new concepts that are really going to help you pass that test. What is, what's another word for concepts? 
I have new ideas. Yeah, I think that's exactly it. Sometimes a picture or an image is worth a thousand words here. And so um, I brought, I, I kind of lugged over a globe here because uh, the word Burmese means something that comes from, uh, or that, that's in the country of Burma. Okay, so here we are in, uh, we are in California. Mm -hmm. I'm delighted by that. Can you find out where we are on this, on this globe? So our, in we're in the United States, and yes. then um, we are, we live to the north, so we're right around here. That is true. And it's funny, it's been worn away. People have pointed to where we are on this globe so much. So if we spin and spin, do you know where Burma is right off the bat? Because we can find it here, and I can show you. All right, so we've, we're spinning around the world. Uh -huh. I want to say probably around Asia. It yeah. is. So, right there. There's your Burma. Okay. So we have India here. We have Thailand. Burma. So Burmese is the adjective and Burma is the noun. So if we're talking about the Burmese jungle, it's, descri it's describing that jungle, that it's in Burma. Okay? Okay. All right, so thank you for selecting these words. Mm -hmm. We can learn all these vocabulary words, and then we're gonna read this story together, and we'll see if these words make a big difference in your comprehension of the story. Okay, okay great. All right. Teaching learners the meaning of unfamiliar words in a text before asking them to read it not only builds their vocabulary, it also boosts their comprehension of the reading material. When deciding which words to select from texts to pre-teach to your learner, keep in mind that some types of words carry more vocabulary building power than others. These are the best words to work on with your learner. Developing background knowledge and a strong vocabulary is key to reading well. For this reason, it's important to explicitly and regularly focus on vocabulary development with your learner. You've seen a tutor do quite a bit of talking when explaining a new strategy. During most lessons, you and your learner would be equally talkative.